Hello everybody, what is going on? It is Brian with you from the GameCom and we're playing some more Stellaris. So we are finally in the late game. We have an Awoken Empire now. I don't want to say at our doorsteps because they're kind of halfway across the galaxy. They're actually not that far away, but we do have, you know, two civilizations between us and them. And yeah, so I ended up doing quite a bit of research in between episodes trying to figure out, hey, what's the best way to uh, fight the Fallen Empire and, or at least, sorry, the Woken Empire and everyone's like, yeah, how about you don't um i guess they get like really 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 large amounts of bonuses which makes them extremely difficult to deal with uh in addition to that they have a large freaking fleet size to begin with um one thing people said is that torpedoes and artillery have a good effect on them and if you don't use torpedoes and artillery then you kind of basically have to jump in right on top of them um otherwise they just outrange the crap out of you so one thing we ended up doing in between episodes is i went through and i tweaked all of my freaking ships I had some new updates that we picked up during the war and stuff like that I ended up making my destroyers point uh, points uh, point defense uh, mostly with a little artillery my Corvettes I don't think I can do artillery on them now nah, I can't but I do have the torpedoes which you know I like because torpedoes are pretty good at least against fallen empires from what I read uh, then we did artillery as much as we could then on our cruisers we also still have our torpedo cruisers and then our battleship we ended up getting our X mega cannon on the front so hopefully all of this is gonna help us um, the other thing to keep in mind is we will have an additional ascension theory perk here in 80 months so one of the things i'm probably going to pick up early uh where is the ascension perks let's see we got master builder well i want two right now one of them i want uh defender not defender galactic contender yeah so we get additional damage to fallen empires and awakened empires so i do need to pick that one up the other one i want is the galactic wonder one so we can get the century race science nexus and dyson sphere now the question is which one are we going to pick up first we are two away from picking this up so 34 months plus another what like probably 80 months or so so we're not that far away. We may be able to wait on the Awoken Empire. We're just going to have to kind of see what he ends up doing. Uh, other thing that happened last episode, which is apparently a really uh, major one, uh, we ended up finishing our war uh, with the Wakagi Collective. So we kind of have to deal with the unrest on our planets. Um, the time projects, I don't think I can reach any of these. Let's see. Track on map. Yeah, that's not in my system, so I can't do anything with that one. That one is not in my system. Um, I'm currently researching that one, so I think we're okay there. And I can't research that one. So, yeah, yeah. Modify the Wakagi species researching. Oh, yeah. Why were we modifying them? It's going to finish in a month. I totally don't remember why, but we were going to do that. Um, what was this point of interest? Way the heck up there. Yeah, that doesn't help me. So, cool. And we still need to obtain the space <laughs> a space amiibo, which I'm pretty sure is not going to happen at this point in the game. All right, so some of our buildings are inactive. Ah, uh, crap. Where is the inactive building? So you currently are inactive for some reason? I'm rebuilding another one, so I guess that's just going to go away here in a little bit. So we will unclick you for now. Um, and we got some debris analyzed, and I think we're good to go. So let's go ahead and advance up the speed. Um, I'm probably going to keep on speed two for a couple minutes. Here's the other thing to keep in mind. We did freaking terraform two planets. What two planets were they? I actually don't remember. Because it happened at last episode sometime during the war. Um, probably over here, it looks like. We have two oceans over here, Fadima. I think it's just one. Yeah, so we want to go ahead and probably knock you out. Fadima Prime. Is this in another... That's in another sector, so... Ah, that's fine. Why does it say there's two ocean worlds, though? Oh. Oh, we have two planets here to, ter uh, to land on. Okay. Oh, I don't actually have anyone in this system. Ah, that makes sense. Where else can I go ahead? Where else have I terraformed? Um... I don't really see too much other green. We have an Arctic world over there, but I don't think I want to mess with this. That one's probably too close to his borders. Same thing with Withrol, that scares me, because Cybrix Alpha, he got pissed off at, so he'll be definitely pissed over there. Um, I am getting to the point where I feel like we could attack him, but eh, we're still gonna hold off just a little bit longer. I guess it's just those two planets. All right. We did have some tomb worlds, but I think we already landed on them because that was one of our tomb worlds. Our other tomb world was up here somewhere. I think it was Cider, wasn't it? Okay, well, we have two freaking worlds we can go ahead and 
um, land on. So let's just go to Death Act and let's just build two more colony ships. Now the private colony ships design was automatically generated but will not update. Are funded by unknown actors from the private sector. As a result, the colonists may have ethics differing from the majority. See, I don't really care about that. Just give me two of those guys. And we're making decent money right now. Um, we have a ton of minerals, which actually... Um, one thing I should probably do with all these fleets is let's go ahead and tell them to go upgrade. Upgrade. And upgrade. So that was 2,000. How much was your upgrade? 1,800. And how much is your upgrade? 5,700. All right, so <laughs> that's a pretty ridiculously expensive upgrade, but that's fine. Species modified. Species modified. Good. Um, don't quite remember what that had to do with. I want to build a spaceport over here, please. You're building a spaceport. You're building a spaceport. Okay. Surface. We were adjusting the Okagi. Oh, you know what it was? It was these guys, wasn't it? Yeah, so now they have Arctic preference, so they can actually hang out here. Uh, because they had really terrible... Um, uh, they weren't Arctic preference, so they couldn't uh, necessarily debris live there. So, uh, Debris analyze. Don't care. Now the question is, one thing I need to know is, where are my transport fleets going? They should be coming over here to Rammstein. Is this where everything's going bad? Not really. This is Yusaka. Where's this system? Ah, oh, it is in Rammstein. There's only one world there. Okay. You are over there. Oh, okay, next to Rammstein. This is interesting, because none of this was actually in my space before. Ooh, what happened over here? Yibrik made peace. The following were enforced. They cleansed the planet, and they <laughs> humiliated them. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Good job, Yibrik. You're probably going to be who I fight next, just FYI. Most likely. The unfortunate part is my people aren't too happy with me because of these wars, but, you know. Uh, crap. The Republic invited the hegemony. Well, that kind of sucks. It's not the worst thing in the world, but that does kind of suck. But they were already, like, defensive fleet, I guess, together, so, yeah. Yeah. Now, what's interesting is, why can I pass through the Wakagi? Why do I have open borders with them? Uh... Yeah, we already know about this. And I don't care about this. This stuff I'm trying to work on... I am building robotic armies. How much is this helping? Not at all. Crap. So the Wakagi were given association status. Alright, well, association status is a little bit okay. Now, I think that means... They hate me. They absolutely hate me. <laughs> I think that means that um, if I declare war on the Wakagi, they'll come to help. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Look at all these transports. Oh yeah, it feels good. <laughs> Governing ethics shift in the Kelazan Republic. Found the growing support, the alien aid. They embrace the faction. Um, they're more xenophilic, xenophobic. Felic? I think it was Felic. Construction complete. Yay. Okay. Um, complete. Finish its surface construction. Okay, as long as there's buildings everywhere, I'm cool. I don't really need the food though. We're at plus 47 food. So I think let's go ahead and replace this with um We could do the slave processing. They're all slaves, so that seems pretty beneficial. I will stop you for now. I'm not worried about you. You finished surface as well? Nope, spaceport finished. Zaz standard. I think what we ended up doing was the solar panel networks up here, if I remember correctly. Orbital farm don't really care about, don't really care about either of those, so. No, rally point, go away. Colony ship is currently idle. Let's go ahead and send you over here and get you colonized, please. Um, energy, energy. Food. Probably here. 
Bedima. Actually, you know what? Did we name planets after our new leader? Um, like Zax? I know we did after Zerglis. I think we did after more, uh, more Zach. Let's name one after Zax. We're just gonna call it Zax. <laughs> I don't have any creative name to go with it. Everything's building something, it seems like, which is nice. Recruitment, wow, we're making 111 right now. Dang. Recruitment of armies has been complete. On Nerifna. This one. We still have a hundred freaking unrest. Oh my gosh. Unhappy slaves plus 360. Wow. I don't know. We can actually get. Wow. That's ridiculous. Okay. So give me more robotic defense. Give me four more. We're just going to be doing eight robotic defense, I guess, in these planets. They have too many people. Like, that's part of the issue, I think, is just because there's so many people, I can't really have, um, like, a couple armies aren't really going to help me as much. Alright, well, if you guys can get over here at Rammstein, that's going to help out. We're going to have to split you in three different ways. Actually, isn't there a limit to how many fleets you can, have, or how many troops you can put on a planet? So the question is, can I actually do what I'm trying to do here? Alright, so you're here. We want you to... Thank you. We want you to land armies, please. Construction complete. And we're at 100 right now. We have four armies. Yeah, we only have 20 potentials, so. <laughs> we're gonna have to see how many we actually need. Hopefully we don't need all 20. Cause that would be kind of crappy, but oh well, we'll see. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a lot. So, we're at 20. Does this mean I can't build any more defense? That's what I'm assuming. That actually kind of sucks, now that I think about it. Let's look at this. So, we're still at 20 unrest. Our armies are negative 200, so it's 10 per army. All right, well, let's do this. Let's embark all real quick. Um, and then let's go ahead and we are building eight. So we need to get it. We need basically 16 total guys. So we need eight more from this group, from our transport fleet to uh, make our uh, make the, the, the system happy. So let's go ahead and transfer. We want one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And the thing is, I don't actually care about, like, I'd actually rather have Zaz here. Yes. Which is the one that has eight? You. So then let's land you, please. And then you are going to come down over here. Construction complete. So construction is currently idle. We are making really decent everything at this point. Let's go ahead and send you over here to build mining stations. Go have you build research. I can't build a mine station. Ah, uh, currently building over there. Ah, oh, crap. So then build a mine station there. How about that? Uh, construction of Heaven's Gate. Yeah, yeah. I see Heaven's Gate, and that's that always like throws me a little bit because of you know the whole cult that was called Heaven's Gate. So yeah, Construction yeah. Uh, where are we at by the way, Rammstein? So you're at ninety right now, complete. and the uh, unrest just went to zero for some reason. Okay, did it get the recently modified? I think it got the recently conquered modifier went away. So in that case. I'm hoping these guys are, yeah, everyone's a lot less unhappy. So we still have one really bad issue. So let's go ahead and kill the armies for now, because you're good. And we're going to kill your armies. And instead, we're just going to go ahead and land you here.
and that should be okay. Now the question is, does it still have recently conquered? Actually, it still has recently conquered. I wonder what actually triggered, because it wasn't recently conquered. So we finished surface construction. We can upgrade. And that's about it there. Here we have nothing. We did build the slave facility. This is giving us 13 food, and why is it giving us two unity? Oh, it's a paradise dome. Oh, all right. Well, that's a little better than I thought. Um, everything else looks okay on this planet. Like, there doesn't seem to be anything I want to replace. And then this was what spaceport death act finished construction. All right. So that means our other colony ships hanging around right now. Uh, we finished cheaper war demands, which doesn't really help me at this point, but okay. Um, army upkeep, military academy. That actually might not be bad because we have a pretty large army at this point. Uh, edict duration, naval capacity. Naval capacity would also be good. Let's take the army upkeep for now. It's only seven months. Uh, and then let's go find our other colony ship and let's go send you over here and have you start colonizing Fadima. And oof, all this energy over here. Let's do it there. Fadima Secundus. That sounds like a cool name, so sure, go for it. All right. All right. All right. Things are going well. Things are going complete. well. And right now, he's chilling, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we finished another mining station. Ships upgraded. Imperial fleet has been fully upgraded. Cool. And you can hang in orbit. Percent now, the question is, you're hanging, me, you're hanging out in the core. I think I'm okay with this. Let's get the crew quarters and let's get the engineering bay over here as well. It looks like all our fleets over here, except these guys. And you're currently being upgraded, waiting on the spaceport. I don't know why it's waiting on the spaceport. Oh, because I'm upgrading. Well, that's a little messed up. Let's do this instead. Hey, I want you guys to come over here. Come to Nikkor too. So we got advanced strike craft. Unfortunately, I switched all, everything off strike craft. <laughs> Giga cannon level two. Yeah, probably. The issue I still have is I don't really have an easy way to go between my systems. Well, okay, maybe I need to have everyone just kind of like meet here. Where is my spaceport over here? That's just a frontier outpost, Brian. <laughs> ah, crap. Yusaka, well, here's the thing. I'm probably not gonna get war declared on me by the Wakagi, so most likely it would be safer for us to hang out over here. I think Vamas actually, doesn't this spaceport have everything we want? We're going to come over here with you instead, and we're going to come over here with you instead. Upgrade the latest designs. Okay. I feel like that's going to be a little bit better. So this federation gave association to the Righteous League. Which is the Righteous League? What? Technology was given association says. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So once again, these three and the Wakagi are all part of the same... <sighs> Federation now what's interesting unfortunately god like I wish I wish these dudes were like right here because then they would have to fight against the entire Federation right now I'm pretty sure the Chithin aren't friends with anyone right they have a defensive pack they're guaranteeing the Wakagi really they have a non-aggression pact and they have trade deals yeah and you we have a defensive pack with It's a defensive pack with Nitraxi. Can I get a defensive pack with you? Form defensive pack. No, not even close. Uh, it would be nice. Once again, I just kind of want to help them out. Here's my thinking. If they end up declaring war and they start beating them down, I would love to send my fleets in and at least help out as much as I can and try whittling them down a little bit. 
before I have to face them. <laughs> uh, okay, go ahead and build research, please. Ooh, look at the research here, man. Yeah. I need someone to build some research there, man. We got five and three. We also got three over here, four over here. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of good systems, a two and a three. Nice. Yeah, we took quite a bit of territory off Wakagi. They still look pretty big, too. But, you know, keep in mind the Great Wakagi Mandate's not part of us. Interesting thing is, do I have to really worry about them? They're still technically disloyal. At some point, I'm going to integrate them. It's going to cost me 270 influence. They're making decent influence, so that's good. Uh, Rammstein Fence Research Station. Okay, so that means you're done. So go ahead and build me Mining Station. Give me the plus three. Probably can go back up to three at this point. Get some speed going. Um, so we finished surface construction. Is there anything here worth doing? It doesn't look like it. Really freaking good unity on these planets, which is exciting. 22 months. Okay. I think it was actually worth it from the standpoint. I think we, get, we got quite a bit of our uh, unity back like from these plants we took over so even though you know the cost for everything's gonna go up they came with quite a bit of unity so all right so we reduced army we may we're making about 30 more a month now which is nice sector limit plus 10 or plus one not bad uh army upkeep again now module fire rate chance to hit tracking that's for a ship modifier I don't know what that it puts to, or the edict. Yeah, I kind of want to get the other. And yeah, let's just do this one for now. It's cheap and easy. We finished the research stations. So that means you are currently idle. So build me your research stations here. Oh, this is my transport fleet just hanging out right here. So you're at eight. Not bad. So then you go over here and land armies over there. Construction complete. And hopefully we won't have any ships just hanging out. Construction complete. Mining station. Finish its construction. Yeah, you're good. Make sure our spaceports are all maxed out, please. And we still have 32k, which is nice. Okay, construction ship. You finished everything over here, so let's go build research station and then mining stations. 14 and 3? Holy crap. What's that 14 from, by the way? 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. Eh. Colony established. Okay, so we finished, we established Colony Zacks. God dang it. What? Oh, this is Awakened Empire. Okay. I was highly confused there for a second. So they ended up declaring war on my friends, which freaking sucks. Okay. Um, we just like seed planet. I can't set demands though, because I'm not the main defender. Uh, so they declared war on our ally. We're now at war. Declared war, we shall see which empire is stronger, and I can't do any missing war demands. <laughs> cool. That's great to know. Let's see how big their freaking fleet is. Now, the question is, I actually do have the ability to fly through. Because for whatever reason, he hasn't closed borders to me. You know what it might be? I wonder if it has something to do with the fact that we actually have a treaty with them. They're unable to close borders during the during the course of that treaty. It's the only thing I can think of. So how long until you guys are fully upgraded? You're 43%, 44. We're gonna bulk our fleet together and hopefully kick their butt. Missing th synthetics. Reports are coming that a large number of synthetic workers 
Uh, Nefombi have gone missing. Their owners claim the unit simply vanished one day. Ah, oh, god dang it. <laughs> I don't need this too. We're investigating whether the synths were attacked and destroyed by one of the migrant uh, fringe groups opposed to intellect machines, but no remains than the units have been discovered so far. <sighs> okay, well, there's actually no synths down there, so a little highly confused. Uh, that's just great. That's exactly what I need. I'm fighting an Awakened Empire. Let's have a synth uprising, too. Uh, all right, all right, all right. We're fine. We're fine. I mean, it's just from one planet, surely. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Okay, so I've yet to see their navy. I've yet to see these guys' navy. Do you actually have a navy? You should, right? Technology level's equivalent. Okay. They're still superior tech. They should have, like, no navy right now. Inferior. And their tech level is equivalent, so we actually caught up to them. Superior tech. Superior tech. But I'm pretty sure we could take on either of them. So, well, we're just kind of chilling at this point. Here's the, upgraded. here's the downside. We only have basically one route to get to these guys, although they don't have closed borders with us, so I guess we could flip them around. Um... Let's go ahead and merge these two. And I'm going to take the Imperial Fleet out. And let's get you guys coming over. Why do you have your closed borders? Why? Um... Why did you close borders to me? That's the dumbest thing. Uh, so now I can't freaking do anything. Like, I can't help him out because he has closed borders. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Why would we have a defensive pack with someone and then they just have their borders closed? And I can't, like, ask him to open borders. Okay. Mining station. Okay, so construction ships idle. That's so weird. Like, you shouldn't, like, be able to have open borders or closed borders with a freaking defensive pack. Like, that's so freaking stupid. Like, we're at war with them. Which is the other thing to think about. So we're currently at war with them. We want them to seed planets and we'll get a humiliate. So how can I not bring my freaking navy into something to an ally that we're at war with? That doesn't make any sense. We're on their freaking side. We're supposed to defend them. And I can't have them, like, there's no option to be like, hey, open your borders to us. Uh, so it says module. Spaceport. Is it one of these? Unlock module, fleet academy. Ship modifier. Ship designer? None of those. Mm. Phase disruptor. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to be one of these, if it's anything. I don't see it there either. Maybe. Oh, you know what it might be? Fortress.
Unlocks module, Fleet Academy. Man, I'm like so thrown right now. Okay, whatever. Um, we're gonna forget that for now. Let's get a bigger fleet for now. And I'm gonna wrap this episode up. I'm gonna research this and I'm probably gonna Google, why the heck am I at war with someone and I can't enter their borders? <laughs> or rather I'm at, like inside a war with them. Here's what's funny. Is that his ships right now? In my borders? This isn't a Traxy state. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, no, 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 sorry. It's uh, it, it's my sectors. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, drop a like and comment. Let me know what you're thinking. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.